guys so i'm back with a new video and let's talk about home invasion horror movies so for this year's proper halloween video i decided to not go with the best of uh director um because honestly most of my favorite horror directors don't really have a lot of movies in their like catalog um they haven't really done enough for me to make a best of so i decided to go with one of my favorite subgenres of horror i've had this idea for quite some time because i just love home invasion horror movies it's not that they are like super effective for me like to get scared it's more like I'm really fascinated with just learning what people would do in a situation like that. Plus, it's always helpful to have some ideas of stuff to do in case something like that happens. So, yeah, I'm not going to talk a lot more because we have 20 films to get through. These are in no particular order. I do have my favorites. Uh, but these ones are just some that I really enjoy. Uh, some of them are like really like cliche and like movies that everyone knows about, but I just can't help it. I love them. And there's also a few that you wouldn't really say they are home invasion, but I can put them in that category for one reason or another but i'll get to it so let's get to my list so starting off with one that i don't think a lot of people would mention in this list but it's probably the most famous one which is parasite from 2019 i'm pretty sure you all know this film it won oscar for best uh, film for best international film uh, so I'm pretty sure everyone have seen this by now, but in case you haven't, this is about a family that basically infiltrates the lives of another family, um, aka they sort of get in their house. Um, it's not super home invasion, but there is a point in the film where they do get inside the house without the family knowing so i think i can say it is a home invasion uh yeah this is one that i'm not gonna say a lot more because there's a few like twists so yeah if you haven't seen parasite there's a reason why everyone talks about it and why it won the oscar so yeah second one it's also another one that isn't necessarily a home invasion although it sort of starts with someone invading someone else's home uh, and i'm talking about martyrs from 2018 the original one the french canadian one uh, and this is really popular in the horror community for how disturbing it is so yeah just just watch this one if you can handle some disturbing things not only it's disturbing to look at but it's also disturbing like metaphorically like there's some things that make you think that could be disturbing uh so yeah and it's not exactly a home invasion as i said it starts out with that because it's about a girl that seeks revenge on the people that uh, abused her when she was young. So that's the basic premise, but there, there's a lot more to it. Just have in mind that this is in most people's most disturbing uh, films for a reason. So yeah, just a heads up. And lastly, the third one that you could say it's not really a home invasion is the guest from 2014 this is directed by adam wingard who we know from a lot of other horror movies 
this one isn't super horror uh, and it's not super home invasion but it's about a guy that sort of infiltrates again the lives of this family after the son of the family dies um, in the military so he was in some sort of war or something uh, and this guy is also a soldier they were friends uh, so he gets in the house of this family but some shady business starts happening so it's not your typical home invasion but honestly i just wanted to mention this film because i think it's highly underrated uh, i know it's sort of actiony uh, it's more of a action thriller than a horror movie, but I think you you would like it. Plus, it's amazing for this Halloween vibe because it is set in October. There's a scene that is set in an Halloween uh, ball, like at school. So there's a lot of Halloweeny stuff in the background, and yeah, set during Halloween time so it's perfect to watch right now my fourth pick is inside this one is more on the disturbing side as well it's a french film this is a proper home invasion one but it's about a pregnant woman that her house is invaded by someone that wants to harm her and her unborn baby Pretty simple, but pretty disturbing as well. It's part of the new French extremity. Uh, so, yeah, I have a few that are part of the like collection uh, in this list. So this is the first one. So again, be warned that this has a lot, a lot of blood. So my next pick is one that honestly, I've watched it a couple years ago, so I don't really remember it that well but i remember it being so weird that i had to mention it here which is borgman from 2013 um this is a dutch film and it's about again a man that just gets uh inside this family's house and it's just so weird i as i said i don't really remember it that well but I just remember it being so weird and the things that happen are weird, kind of disturbing, not like gory or anything, not that I remember, but it's just a weird film overall. Um, so if you want to watch something different, give this one a go. Now let's talk about just the classic Panic Room from 2002. David Fincher, this is a classic home invasion film. It's not gory or anything. It's more of a thriller. Um, and this one is pretty straightforward. It's your typical, as I said, home invasion, just a gang sort of uh, goes into this house to steal something and there's these uh, mother and daughter there and they trap themselves in the panic room but yeah more stuff happens but it's pretty straightforward but it's also pretty well made so it's just classic if you don't really love horror movies like disturbing ones and intense ones this is a pretty good one to start if also, if you're not sure if you like home invasion movies, this is like your basic, basic one. Now let's get some of the most well-known ones out of the way. Scream from this year. You can watch basically any of the Scream films. They're almost all home invasion-y. Uh, but I decided to go with the new one just because it's my favorite. Yeah, you know what Scream is about, uh, Ghostface, and it's not your typical home invasion, but there's definitely home invasions in this film, like killers or a killer invading someone else's house. So I, I can say this is a home invasion. 
We also have Don't Breathe from 2016, another like really simple sort of one uh, about just a group of teens that invade this blind man's home and it's worse than they could think. Like they thought this would be something easy to do, to just steal from this man, but it's not as easy as they thought. Then we have Your Next from 2011. I think this is the, just a classic. It's probably my favorite proper home invasion. I just love this film. It's about a, like a family gathering that just turned south, but there's a lot of like twists and turns. And the final girl here is my favorite. So yeah, this is a classic. If you're, if you're not sure about which one to watch from this list, I would say this one, perfect home invasion film. And lastly, Hush from 2016, another like pretty basic one. It's about a deaf woman uh, and a psychotic killer uh, that just goes after her and tries to get into her house. This one is pretty simple as well, so yeah, but this is a Mike Flanagan one and yeah, it also has like a soft uh, spot in my heart. If you want something to watch during Christmas time, the next one is probably the one to watch, uh, which is Better Watch Out from 2016. This is about a babysitter who's taking care of a 12 year old boy and their house is invaded, um, but it's, it's not as simple as it seems. So yeah, I, I can't really tell much about this one because it, it's quite surprising. Back to some disturbing ones. The first one that I have to mention is High Tension from 2003. Uh, this one is a ride. Uh, not a lot of people love it, but I, I really like it. Uh, it's about two friends that go stay the weekend in the parents' house of one of them. But guess what? Uh, the house is invaded by some people and th there's also a few twists and turns here so yeah i'm not gonna say anything else but it's part of the new french extremity so expect something disturbing and gory and violent same goes for the next one which is them from 2006 this one is pretty surprising as well it says it's based on a true story um and from what i remember it's not exactly what happened here, but it's pretty similar, which is kind of scary. And this one is about a couple that has like a house pretty far away from like the city and everything. And just one day someone gets inside their house and it, it's kind of simple, but it's kind of disturbing at the same time because it feels real. So yeah, just have in mind these two are kind of disturbing. A more kind of lighthearted one that came out in 2020 is Becky, uh, which is about a teenager that goes spend the weekend with her father and some criminals just stumble upon in their lives and things go south like this girl is resourceful uh, a lot of people said this is like the horror version of uh, home alone which sort of is so yeah it's pretty gory but it's not like super disturbing it's kind of light-hearted so yeah if you want like a fun one this is it. Now another classic one is The Strangers from 2008. This is another one that's one of my favorites. Again, you can watch like the second one uh, and they are actually working on a trilogy, so stay tuned for that. But I highly recommend the first one. This is also based on a true story, although there's not really much information about the true case. 
but this one is a, about a couple that is staying in this house and some strangers knock on their door and yeah it's pretty it's it's not like disturbing in the way that some of the other ones that i said are it's the it's more like really tense you can totally feel the tension building and all of that and i love that about the film it's not super gory either but it's highly believable and yeah just don't really watch this one uh, home alone because I, I think this one will freak you out but i highly recommend it the next one is one that i think it's also like a hidden gem which is christy from 2014 i've seen this one pretty recently and i just really enjoyed it it's not your typical home invasion because this one takes place in a college dorm. Uh, it's about a girl that stays in the dorm during Thanksgiving uh, holidays, like the, to the Thanksgiving break. And she's targeted by this group of people. Um, yeah, there's a backstory to the people that are after her. And thinking about this happening it's kind of disturbing uh, but yeah it's just it's not like in your face disturbing it's not super gory it's more of an action thriller as well but i i really enjoyed it it has a lot of the subgenres that i like besides home invasion so if you haven't seen this one give it a go because yeah it's 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 pretty different and not what you would expect. Another one that it's kind of surprising, it's 1BR from 2019. I actually have a full-on review of this one, so I'll leave it up here so you can know a bit more about it. But this is not your typical home invasion either. It's about this girl that gets an apartment in this complex and everything looks pretty good until it's not so it's not your typical home invasion in the way that like someone else trying to get inside the house it's more of like her trapped in this apartment complex with some weird people um yeah but i really wanted to mention this one because i really enjoyed it i thought it was quite original and yeah if you want to know more just check out my full review but again i highly recommend it back to some classic ones we have the purge from 2013 again you can watch all of the other purge films but this first one it's the one that is a proper home invasion film I i'm pretty sure you all know about the purge but in case you don't uh, the part uh, is about like a uh, holiday of sorts, uh, like a 12 hour period where all crime is legal. Uh, and this first film focuses on a family trying to be safe in their house, uh, but obviously, someone gets in, um, and yeah, just them trying to survive. My Second to last recommendation is The Rental from 2020. I believe I also have a review of this one, so I'll leave it up here. I really enjoyed this one uh, because it's, again, not your typical home invasion. It is based on a Airbnb um, and it's kind of scary as well because I, most of these ones feel pretty real to me. But I guess like home invasions in general are pretty uh, like believable. But this one is about two couples that go to this Airbnb and they think like the guest, the owner of the house is kind of shady and some things are happening. Again, there's like a twist here. So yeah, I'm not going to say anything else. And lastly, I think I have kind of a controversial suggestion, uh, which is Knock Knock from 2015. This is an Eli Roth film. Not a lot of people like 
Eli Roth in general, but I don't think a lot of people like this film. Personally, I really enjoyed it. It was highly unpredictable. Um, it's about a father that stays in his house for the weekend alone and two girls just knock on his door asking for help and things take a dark turn. It's kind of sexual, so just have that in mind. Um, this one stars Keanu Reeves and Anna de Armas, so that might play a part in you wanting to watch it or not. Uh, I liked it, it's kind of like out there, it's kind of obnoxious at times, uh, but it's really unpredictable in my opinion. And yeah, I think it's pretty different from all the other films here. It's kind of gory as well. And yeah, these are my recommendations. So guys, I hope you liked these 20 recommendations, like home invasion recommendations. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want like a part two, because I have more home invasion films that I liked. These ones are definitely my favorites, but I have other recommendations. So if you want more, just let me know in the comments. Also, let me know how many of the ones that I told you about you have seen already. Uh, I'm really curious to see if anyone has seen all of these. I know most of them are pretty classic and a lot of people have seen them, but there's some like hidden gems here. So let me know how many you have seen. And yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and I'll see you in my next video.